to remember to use keyboard of mouse. Yes, I would really like. Oh. Okay. Room number two. It is locked. Okay. Room number two to the right. Also locked. Ah. One must not peer into the heart of man. The heart is ever questioning. Up to two times can be forgiven, but one who cannot answer the heart. Third question will fall into internal. So I can't go to the door, so I go back. Ah, you made it back. Why are you crying? One world at a time, is it? What a bother. Well, fair enough. Recovered one of the items. I'll collect everything you picked up in the world as well. This music is so loud in my ears. <laughs> so loud in my ears. These will soon vanish at any rate. Alice seems to be hanging on by a thread now. And the torn pages of put these together. Here you are. Contained a burgundy notebook. Now then, I'll open the door to the next world. I'm counting on you once more. So oh, crazy, it's Cheshire again. He came up with all the rules of these worlds, you know. I wouldn't make none like that. Just give it time, he says. Makes all these dumb rules, he does. Ugh. But we just gotta follow him. Because if we don't, we'll get punished. What? Can a guy talk about what he likes? But you consider normal? Gonna vary from person to person. Boy, you can look like a wreck. Don't need to get so worked up about somebody you just met. Doesn't that just wear you out? Oh. Or did you forget all that too? I know everything, because I stole them. Not giving back, of course. Tell me, is it really empty inside you? Is there even the slightest kind of anything? Might be. <laughs> Not really seeing it myself. Hey, it's time. Bye now. So, we got to the sword now? Oh, it's a bear girl. Uh, Alice? Bite to play. Eh, um, okay. Can you open the closet? Always open the closet. Memory? Oh, no. A teddy bear. Yeah. There's nothing hidden here. Sky is red. Well, that ain't good. Oh, I need to click on that place. Oh, and another teddy bear. Jeez. Filled with clothes. Okay. Smells delicious. Red fruits. Other vegetables. I guess that's not examinable. Nothing of note. What? Uh. They smell like forests. 
A drawing of a man's face. It's very soothing. Why does she have two beds? Got the ornament. That's nice. That is right. You scared me. Um, uh, do you know where this is? A train? Okay. Okay, thanks. Sorry, I'm not good at talking. But I don't hate it, really. It was scary being alone, but I've calmed down a little. Will you go with me? Okay. You want this? It's just a blank sheet of paper, but okay. Here. Obtained a notebook scrap. My mother has a very weak body, so I do the cooking, washing, and other chores instead of her. My father isn't home much. Sometimes he brings home a wolf or a deer. I want to go to school, but I love mother, so I always stay at home with her. Mother always lies in bed, saying sorry, I'm sorry. And her voice always sounds like it's about to fade away. Okay, she's following me now? Are we going outside then? It's locked. It won't open. That's weird. What should we do? You search for the solution like anything else. <laughs> hmm. I like Teddy because he's fluffy and warm. Thank you for the letter. Is your mother all right? You shouldn't push yourself either. If there's anything you need, please get an adult to help. I owe so much to your mother. If you don't mind, I would really like to see you again. There's still plenty of space, so I'll ask you a riddle again this time. This one's harder than the last. Think you can solve it? First of all, it is only two, but in time, there are four, then soon eight. How many are there in the end? Give my best regards to your mother. Two, then four, then eight. Is this in relation to something that's in the house? Uh, let's read the second one. Your answer to that last riddle was correct. I'm impressed. Yes, it's six. Because the end is six letters. Ah, you got it yet again. I couldn't solve it myself. Perhaps I'm too hard-headed. I've been hearing such bad news lately. Be careful when you go out. Alright? It's gotten cold with the change of seasons. Be sure not to catch a cold. Ah, then. Another riddle. Then... And it gets lower. A sit, and it gets higher. What could this be? Take care of yourself. Okay, third letter. Maybe that one was too hard. The answer is the ceiling. It's lower when you stand, but higher when you sit. By the way, I should be able to come by in about three days from now. It's been so long since we met. I last visited when you were little, so perhaps you don't remember. Till next time, let's talk in person. I'll tell you plenty of riddles then too. Look forward to it. I know I will. Oh. Most delicious. I 
Raggedy Bear. Yeah, she said that before. Oh, there's this thing there. Good day. I'm really hungry right now. Oh. If you need medicine, there's some in the room over. But the stomach medicine needs to be mixed first. What was it? The first color goes, the second color yields, the third color stops. That's what Grandma said. And that, it refers to something. But she said it will explode if I mess it up, so I should stay away. You wanna try? Uh. I'm trying to remember what was the menu button. Aha, yes. We will try and I will I'll they die. <laughs> Color goes, yields, and stops. So you're saying green, yellow, red? Medicine in three colors. Here it is. You have to mix the medicines in the order I said before. Will you really do it? If you mess up, it's gonna explode. Do it. Be careful! What color will you mix? Green. Which one's next? Yellow. Which one's last? Red. It... It didn't explode. Well, that should be okay. This medicine should work, I think. Obtained medicine. I didn't think it was actually by traffic lights, but it was indeed by traffic lights. Uh, we brought medicine. Thanks. Ah, oh, much better. I feel great. Alright, I don't need this, so take it. Obtained a notebook scrap. My grandma in the woods had a job making medicine. When my mother ran out of medicine, I'll go to grandma's house. One day, mother told me to go there like always. Today she wanted to give a present too. And she was indebted to her. It's full of bread and wine. But you're not to eat it along the way. Like I always tell you. Don't stray from the path. Because there are scary wolves. I said I'll do what she said. And left the house. While walking through the forest. I found a pretty flower garden. Okay. Sounds like the door unlocked. Oh, it's unlocked. But nah, uh, just say that. Okay, let's see. Nothing there. Oh, sorry for grabbing your hand. Sorry, so sorry. Uh, not much to examine. I guess we go down. Well, we're outside, but now what? Um, oh, that's right. Before you came, Alan, I saw a teacher. said not to go anywhere, but I broke my promise. Did we look for him? Well, let's go to Grandma's house. Oh wait, can we pick a few flowers? Oh, no, I don't want to play Tetris. Pick some. Thanks! I love the flowers here. 
tell the truth. I'm told not to pick them, but it's just a dream, so... Let's go to Grandma's. It's straight ahead from here. Straight ahead seems to be water. <laughs> There. There. Huh? No bridge? What now? We can't get to Grandma's. Oh, head spinning. In a jam. Hello, Alice and Alice. Don't stare too hard. Deadly, you know. Just kidding, don't freak. So you want to cross the river? I'll take you over. Not even kidding. But it ain't gonna be free. Just a little game, love them, don't ya? As you can see, I have your wolf, sheep, and cabbage. You wanna row your boat? Use your imagination to get them. All to the other shore. Except there are a couple of conditions. One, you can only carry one thing on the boat at a time. Two, if you leave the sheep alone with the cabbage, the sheep will eat it. Three, leave the wolf alone with the sheep, the wolf will chow now. Those are the rules. Now, what minimum number of times you gotta row across? Talk to me when you got the answer. Get it right, and I'll take you to the other shore. Uh, yep. Just like the rules of Alice's world. You only get three guesses. Mess up the third one, and it's a dead end, friend. Alrighty. Get those gears turning. Huh. He's safe. Got it. Tell me your answer. Just a number, please. Anything else, and I'm counting it wrong. I. I don't... Um... <laughs> How... Am... I supposed to guess that? Okay. We're just assuming this is a tiny river, right? Like, not a, not a super, super big river, like... I assume we take the deep first? Is it... I don't know that's right. I don't. You grab the sheep, go across the river. That's what. Mm, come back to. Uh, grab the wolf. Go. That's three. Come back. That's four. Grab the vegetable. Go over. That's five. Hmm. I would have to come back for my friend that's six and 
then go back and escort her at seven because only one thing can go with me on the boat, which means my friend can't come with me on the boat. Seven, right? I'm doing the math right. You can't come with me on the boat while I'm carrying these things. Right? Oh, oh. Correct you are. Alright, off on your way. Promise is a promise. Close your eyes. Let's light the other shore. You notice there's a scrap in your hand. Don't stray from the path I warned myself. But I was sure Grandma would be glad if I could bring her some flowers too. So I picked the flower too. Then a man came by and asked if I knew a medicine maker. He must have met Grandma. I told him I was going there too, so he should come with me. The man smiled and helped me pick flowers. Then we held hands and walked to Grandma's house. I don't hold hands with Father much, so it was sort of a new sensation. They're spacing out. What's wrong? It's right here, Grandma's house. Let's go. I wonder if Mother's okay. She's always been sick, but Grandma says that she'll get better. Someday, she won't wake up. She won't talk with me ever again. When I think about that, I cry a lot. Mother's all red. It's scary. Alan? Is there someone you want to protect? Oh, you lost your memories, huh, Alan? I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Let's go. It's getting a little cold. And it's kind of scary here. Okay. I examine the stuff. I'll touch that! Oh, sorry. What's the matter with me? Ah. Don't touch that, she says. So what you're saying is I should save and touch it. It's Grandma's field. I think she grows the things for her medicine here. But I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to touch it. <laughs> Am I gonna die from pulling this? The answer is yes. I think? Wait, no, I didn't die? Am I killing something by pulling these flowers? I am, aren't I? I think that's all the flowers, right? Mm. Oh, it's a lot. After we came so far. And now, Alan, huh? Well, I mean, I... Oh. Oh, and what do you want? Hmm, the door is locked, huh? That certainly is weird. Thing is, that house doesn't even have a lock. Ah, ha, ha. Huh, well, there is a way, though. But you see, her squeakiness, me, is currently wanting a flower. Practically can't live without it. Bring me one, would you? What kind of flower is it? My, my. What a tiny weird voice you have. Oh, I'll only say it once, so listen up. When she's red, he's passionate. When she's white, he gives pure. And when she's blue, he's eternally devoted. Oh, red, white, and blue. But she, 
And she's yellow. She's deeply jealous. Red, white, blue, yellow. Ah, but one last thing. She very often mistaken for another. But unlike that, other flowers, she never hurts people. So don't make that mistake. Right? Oh, off you go. Bring me the wrong one and I'll have to eat you. He picked some flowers earlier. There's a bunch here. I'll split them up for you. Oh, you brought her? Hurry then, her squeakiness decrees it. Which one? Oh, I have to go by the name of the flower and not the colors. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> um. Pansies are yellow, roses are red. Marguerites are white? Oh, that can't be. Maybe the tulip is blue and the pan. No. Carnations are, can be red and white as well. Are carnations usually mistake for... Maybe mistake for tulip or rose. Carnation mistake for... Z or mark... I think carnations can be mistaken for flower. They're pretty basic. Well, well, so you really brought her. Ah, I'm so glad finally I can eat. Ah. Eat it. Oh, -ho, very tasty. Truly the best of the best. Ah, yes, yes. Something to open the door. Here you are. Obtained an... We're breaking down the door? <laughs> yeah, you keep it. It's too heavy for me. Kind of forceful, but this should work. You there, hold on a moment. Take this as well. Only for you, royalty has no need of it. You reach Grandma's house and Grandma waved to welcome me. The man bowed slightly too. Medicine is in the usual place. I went to get Mother's medicine from the back room. Just then I heard a loud sound. There, there, I saw. I saw a wolf. Grandma. Then he stuffed a lot of medicine in the bag. Then he noticed me and started walking towards me. You're gonna die too, ain't you? Me? <laughs> Ellie, you're pretty amazing. Oh, Grandma's not looking too good. Grandma is not looking too good. Smells bitter. Smells sweet. Ah. Nothing in particular. A book labeled Mother Goose. Cry, baby, cr cry. Cry, baby, cry. Put your finger in your eye and tell your mother it was an eye. Okay. But fruit. Medical plants. Grandma! No response. Hmm. Empty? Hmm. Wah! Well, the medicine's all messed up. It smells bad. Okay. Ah, uh, be careful with that broken bottle. You're not hurt, okay? That's good. A worn old stool. A key. Take it. Obtained world key. So, I guess we didn't find teacher. 
And things are kind of weird here. It smells bad, too. Hey, how do you wake up from the stream? I see. Did that come from the other room? I don't wanna... I don't wanna move from this spot. Okay, but don't let go. Don't leave me. Please. Oh crap, I'm definitely not looking too good there. No, you're not, Grandma. Wake up, wake up. Right, it's just a dream. I don't want to see it, not again. I won't do it again. I mean it. Forgive me, forgive me. Uh, in the storybook for Red Riding Hood, you use an axe. Oh shit. Well, I guess I couldn't save her. Even after all that. Good. Father. Read. Red. The color red. I hate it. Stop. I close my eyes. Oh, I can't see. Hold my hand. I can't look people in the eye. I'm scared to hold their hand. It makes me remember it. If only I hadn't picked those flowers and hadn't met him and hadn't held his hand. All the blood came out. It smelled really bad. Teacher, I feel a little scared, but I'm sort of okay. Teacher, I can't. The eyes that uh, I'm scared help me. The words towards the end are too blurred to read. Welcome back. I say with a smile, but I'm made quite uncomfortable by that face you're making. Oh well, at least you seem to have safely recovered the key. A job well done. Well then, I'll collect all the things from that world. And I'll put together those pages. Here you are. In a vermilion notebook. Now then, I'll open the door to the next world. I'm counting on you once more. 